Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another Pray Together episode. Carrie Green here. It is time for us to take these needs that have been submitted by brothers and sisters in Christ around the world and pray for them. Lift them to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, and ask Him to do something in their situation that only He can do, and that is to bring about the very best in the circumstance. You know, it's an amazing thing to me that we have the privilege through what Jesus has done for us to come into the throne of grace with power and with confidence that our God will act. If you have a prayer request that you would like to have included in a future Friday Pray Together episode, you can send that to us by going to morningmindsetmedia.com slash prayer, morningmindsetmedia.com slash prayer, and leave your request right there in the form. We will receive it. We will organize it with all the rest, and we will pray for you on an upcoming episode. All right, today we have a number of prayer requests that I would like to get through today. And I'm asking you, if you have time to pray right now all in one shot, please do that. But if you don't, feel free to pause the episode at any point and come back to it and just resume praying right where you are. It is important that we take these requests seriously and that we lift them to our Father. All right, let's go to prayer together. Our Lord Jesus, we are grateful for the privilege of prayer. It really is a thing I've been exploring more lately and and studying so that I can understand it better and therefore pray with more effectiveness and with more desire and passion, Lord. And so I just am so grateful that you give us the opportunity to be able to rest in you, to abide in you in deep relationship and therefore be more attuned to what you want in a certain circumstance, and thereby pray according to your will and have those prayers answered. So, Lord, we want to abide in you right now. We want to just rest in all that you are for us. You're our life. You're our strength. You're our hope. And we rest in you, and we ask you to guide us as we pray today for these things that our brothers and sisters in Christ have submitted to be considered, and the people all around the world who are praying right now with me would be able to do the same thing. Lord, give us the grace to abide in you. We begin by lifting up our sister Haley, who writes to us from Canada, and she is excited, first off, that she and her fiancé, who both have been Christians for just over a year, are getting married coming up in May. And Lord, we're just so grateful for the two of them doing uh, this great step of faith to join together in holy matrimony. Lord, we don't hear those terms anymore, but it is holy to come together before you as husband and as wife, because you're the one who implemented and instituted marriage. You're the one who put it together to work between a man and a woman. And you are the one who just wants to bless it as a primary instrument in the advancement of your kingdom. And so we ask for Haley and for her fiance to be very much blessed in their preparation time for their wedding and the time as they come together. Lord, she says that there are many of their loved ones and family who will be attending the wedding, and she wants them to be saved, perhaps even as a result of attending the wedding. She wants their wedding to be God-centered, a celebration, and a place of worship. And she's asking that those who don't know Christ or haven't yet seen God's love will have their hearts softened, that they'll be drawn to Jesus in power. And Lord, we ask your Holy Spirit to do that right now, to begin stirring up those questions and desires in the hearts of those you know are going to attend, so that they will be ready when the time comes to hear the message of the gospel and enter into the kingdom of God. Share your glory as believers in Jesus Christ. And Lord, Haley also very kindly wants to pray for the Morning Mindset podcast and all the things that are happening. She says the podcast has been a great part of her spiritual growth. And so, Father, we are asking you to just honor Haley's prayer request. And in a way that is just all about your glory, Lord, I ask you to be gracious, to spread the Morning Mindset even further, to grow the listenership for the sake of reaching more people with your gospel, supporting more people like Haley encouraging the faith of your people, strengthening the resolve and the the trust of your people, that they'll be able to rest in you, grow in you, stand strong in you in the face of all the pressures that we feel in the world. Lord, we're asking that 
in Jesus' name. Father, a sister from the United States named Sarah is asking us to pray for her. She has gotten thrown from a horse and she's experiencing some complications from the injuries that she sustained. Lord, we do want to ask you to come alongside Sarah in her process of healing and touch her body divinely, Lord. Bring about a restoration of strength and a restoration of of the, the cells and nerve endings and all those things to be put right back into normal condition, Lord, that she would be able to be relieved from this pressure and pain that she's feeling. And Lord, that she would be a testimony, be able to be a a strong testimony for your sake in speaking of what you've done in healing her. And Father, we ask that you'd use the circumstance to show yourself mighty, to show yourself glorious to everyone who's involved. Lord, we have an anonymous brother from the United States who's asking us to pray about some very serious circumstances that his friend is facing in terms of financial and emotional challenges in their family. He says it's clearly affecting him throughout the course of every day. This friend is a believer in Christ and is seeking your will, Lord, but he wants to see clarity come about for this brother. And so, Father, we do come alongside this brother who's praying for his friend. I thank you first off for a friend who's faithful enough to lift another in prayer and to ask others to pray. And Lord, we ask that this brother who's experiencing such struggle would be encouraged in his faith, that even if the circumstances don't change, you give him a shift in his perspective and ability to receive from you the guidance that he needs to think rightly about this in light of who he is in Christ and who you are for him. And Lord, that you would strengthen him. You would give him endurance. You'd give him everything that he needs to experience your grace and your provision in this circumstance. And Lord, we don't know if the circumstance is one that you desire to change right now, but Lord, we're asking for the mercy of a change that the financial and emotional challenges that he's facing could be mitigated or or relieved in some way, Lord. We're asking you to do what is best for this brother in Jesus' name. This anonymous brother also has a praise that he wants to share with us. He says last November, he nearly lost his life due to a GI infection and a liver failure that happened at the same time. He says it was his own lack of respect and care for his own body that caused it. And you were very gracious to give him another chance. Lord, he says, through your unreasonable grace, (laughs) you made the road from 20 years of drinking and alcohol to be something he's become free of and has been astonishingly easy. Lord, this miracle brings him to tears and it brings us to tears as well. Lord, we praise you for five months of freedom that you've given to this brother. We thank you for the grace and the, the, the breathing in of free air, Lord, for this brother and the way his health is being restored. Lord, we praise you for giving him such a change in his circumstance and his health and his determination to see himself free. And Father, we ask that you would sustain him with a humble heart. You'd sustain him with a dependence on you that is unmistakably your grace. And Lord, that he would in no way revert back, that you would give him freedom from the desires for alcohol, that you would give him freedom from the old patterns of living and dependence on alcohol, whether that's emotional or spiritual or physical, Lord, that you would keep him free. You'd keep him living in the grace that you've given. Lord, we're so thankful to hear this story of deliverance and ask you to continue it on day after day, month after month, year after year for the rest of his life. We're asking in Jesus' name. Lord, we have a sister in Christ, Susanna from the United States, who's asking us to pray for her. She's been diagnosed with a life-altering disease. And she says the past two weeks have been such a struggle as she's learning to handle this circumstance. And she has been told that this disease may be a sign of even greater health challenges that might exist and more tests are going to need to be done. Lord, I can just feel right now the weight of what this kind of news would be like for our sister Susanna. And Lord, we are standing with her in prayer. We want to come alongside her, Lord. And if if she could even just feel our arms around her, Lord, I know that that's 
typically not the way you work, but we're asking you to give her comfort. That's really what we mean. We want to see her strengthened, knowing she's not alone and that others are standing with her in prayer. And Father, we ask first off that you give her eyes to look to you in faith, knowing that everything you allow to come into our life has come through the filter of your love and your wisdom. And though we don't understand how that can be true in a circumstance like this, we also know that your ways are not our ways. They are higher. The things that you bring into our lives are for our good, even when we can't see it. And so, Lord, we are asking you to give her the grace to be strong in this. And I don't just mean strong physically and intellectually, but I mean, Lord, emotionally and physically and spiritually. She'd be able to keep her eyes on you. She'd be able to trust you even when it feels she doesn't have the strength to trust you. And Lord, that your grace would be sufficient for her. But Father, we do turn as well to the physical circumstance. We're asking you to give the doctors accuracy in their insight into what's going on in her body that you'd enable them to diagnose exactly what's going on rather than to be making educated guesses or to be misled by certain symptoms that seem like something that is not. Father, we're asking you to strengthen their ability to see what's going on rightly and to treat it accurately and appropriately. Lord, we pray you would not allow them to prescribe drugs or, or therapies or things that would be harmful to her. We ask you, Lord, to give them the wisdom to know the difference And we ask you, Father, as well, to move into this circumstance with your healing power, your grace, to bring about a change in her body's chemistry and makeup, that if there is a disease, Father, it would be eradicated from her body by your divine power. Lord, we are asking you to make yourself present for Susanna in this situation, Lord. Make your wisdom available to her. And remind her that you've promised her that if any of us lacks wisdom, we should ask of you who gives generously and without reproach. And it will be given to her, Lord. Give her that kind of unrelenting, unyielding faith. Father, our brother Hunter from the United States comes to us. And he's asking us to remember to pray for Muslim friends and neighbors who live around us. Especially during the season of Ramadan that I believe is approaching soon, Lord that during this season they would hear, recognize, and choose to believe your truth, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Father, we do ask that you would reveal yourself to them in powerful ways, in ways that we've, some of us have heard of happening around the world where people of Muslim persuasion are being uh, drawn to Jesus through visions, through dreams, through the boldness of other Christians in their lives. Lord, we ask that you would fill us with compassion, that during this time that typically is a holy time for them in their religion, you would make it the most holy time by having the holy King of Kings and Lord of Lords reveal himself to them. So Jesus, do that. Would you step into the lives of our Muslim neighbors all around and cause yourself to be known for who you are, not for the distorted view of you that Islam can often have, but Lord, for the view of you as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the sovereign of the universe who has a heart of compassion and love, even for them, Lord, please do so in Jesus name. Lord, we have a brother in Christ, Robbie, who's come to us asking for prayer with a circumstance that happened at his work. He is a nurse anesthesiast and one of his fellow workers, began to feel poorly during the day and she got dizzy. She began to have seizures and later they had to place a breathing tube and discovered she had bleeding in her brain. Lord, they've performed an emergency surgery, but only time will tell what the damage will be and what might have really occurred. This young woman has three children. Lord, we are praying along with our brother Robbie that you would bring about healing for her. Lord, would you by your grace restore her ba- her brain, restore her body, bring healing and strength to her, Lord, as a means by which you show yourself to be mighty and powerful in her life, that you would give her this opportunity to draw near to you through this generous gift of health. And Lord, we are asking you to surround her with your ministering angels, surround her with your people like Robbie, 
who can minister to her, who can be there to bless her, and who can minister to her family during this time. Lord, we are asking you to do what only you can do by using a tragic circumstance to bring about a great transformation, both spiritually and physically. Father, we come alongside our sister in Christ, Cleo, who's writing from Canada. She is asking us to pray for a woman named Viola. For her heart, she's been affected by brokenness, emotional trauma, grief, loneliness, loss. She's struggling with some personal issues regarding hair loss and some mental, emotional problems like split personality disorders, some sleep disorders. Lord, we've come alongside Cleo to pray for Viola as well. Lord, that you would give her rest and recovery. You would bring about strength in her life and transformation of these conditions. Lord, we hear the description of some of these things and they feel so big and ominous. But Father, we do not want to be guilty of letting the emotion that rises in our in our spirit as we hear such things to be bigger than our faith in you. Because Lord, you are the mighty sovereign over everything. You can bring about change in these circumstances. They are small to you. They're not too difficult for you. Nothing is impossible for you. So Lord, we praise you for being that God and for making yourself available to us in prayer. And we ask you to bring radical transformation in Viola's life, Lord, for this reason. We're asking as well to pray for Magdalena. Cleo is asking us to pray for her. He said she is uh, trapped by depression. He's also asking us to pray for Cordelia. So, Lord, I praise you for Cleo being so mindful of praying for these friends. So, Lord, we do lift up Magdalena ask you to break her free from depression, to change the balance of chemicals in her mind, to change the wiring that is causing this depression, whatever the circumstance, Lord. Draw her to yourself and give her the ability to see you as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And Lord, we're not given specifics about Cordelia's situation, but we ask you, Lord, to be present in her life, to bring about grace and majesty and and mercy so that she too could be drawn to you, Lord. We're asking this in Jesus' name. Lord, a sister in Christ, Melina, is asking us to pray for her teachers, friends, schoolmates, and others who are on a trip to Costa Rica. It's a mission trip, and she's praying for their safety, for them to have a good trip and to come back safely. Lord, we do appreciate that you are God everywhere in the world. Your hand is not short to save or to protect or to care, no matter where we go. And so, Lord, we ask that this this group of people who's gone to Costa Rica on this mission trip, Lord, first of all, would be able to accomplish the mission they've gone for, to do so with grace and humility, Lord, that you'd use the experience to transform them and bring them into a place of great change and transformation. But Lord, we ask too that you would use their efforts to be a blessing there where they are and bring them home, Lord, with hearts that are expanded for the sake of your kingdom and with desires that are fomented and and formed by your Holy Spirit, Lord. We're asking that in Jesus' name. Our brother John is asking us to pray with him because he's going through a rough time right now. He says his father is in jail, has been in jail for a year, and he has been trying to help his father financially, but he's also having the needs of his own life that come to bear on the situation. He realizes and and knows his father needs his help, but he's also dealing with these circumstances in his own life, financially and in relationships that need to be considered as well. So Lord, give John wisdom. Give him your mind to know how to bless his father, but also to uh, be a blessing in his life and, and in the balance of the things that he's dealing with. Father, give him eyes to see how he can be a support and a help to his father that isn't financial, that isn't in the ways that would would put a strain on his responsibilities in other areas. Lord, he is also asking us to pray for him regarding his relationship with his girlfriend. He says uh, she's ready to get married and he wants to move forward as well in that way. But he's got a dog that he's lived with and had for many years and she is not excited about living with a dog. Um, he really just feels caught in this circumstance. So Lord, we ask that you would resolve this situation. Lord, what strikes me at a deep place in my heart is that 
people are more important than things, and that includes this dog. And Lord, I don't want to be insensitive or unfeeling about John's connection with this dog. I know you give us animals as a great blessing. My wife and I have a dog that we just love. And Father, I, I just, I guess I'm just saying all that because I know the struggle this must be for John. But I also know that his fiance, his future wife, is of much greater value than the dog. And Lord, I don't know what he should do here. I just know that this, this tension and this struggle that he's feeling is very real. And so Lord, I ask you to give him great wisdom, give him the grace he needs to know how to be uh, acting, how to be doing, how to be living out what is uh, right in this circumstance. John is also asking us to pray regarding his work situation. He says it's been tough and he needs some encouragement, Lord. So we ask you to give him grace and guidance. And we ask you, Lord, to give him your peace, the peace that comes from him submitting these requests to you and leaving them with you, Lord. We're asking you to guard his heart and his mind in Jesus Christ. Father, our next request comes from a sister from the United States named Cheyenne. She's asking us to pray for peace and comfort for her boyfriend, Ty. His younger brother passed away in late 2021 at 16 years of age. And Ty is still struggling to find peace, especially as the holidays approach. He was very close to his brother and the loss has been very difficult as a result. So Lord, we don't understand the loss of people like this. Sometimes we don't understand the reasons behind it. We don't understand sometimes how to get past that loss, Lord. We don't ever want to forget the person, the blessing and the the benefit that they were in our lives and the great connection that we had with them. But Lord, at the same time, we want to be healthy after a loss like this. And I know Ty is is probably in that place where he he feels the contradiction between the life he wants to live and those he should live in happiness and joy with his girlfriend, Cheyenne. But Lord, also just wanting to honor that important relationship and the, the feelings of closeness that he had. So Lord, I ask you to bring a way through Ty's heart and mind and, and life that he'll be able to resolve that conflict that he feels. He'll be able to resolve the pain and the loss, Lord, that he'll be able to entrust it to you, entrust you to do what is right in his life in this regard, and that you have done what is right, even in taking his brother, Lord. We don't understand, but we're asking you to give him a way to resolve this, to strengthen his faith, to make yourself his treasure and his comfort and his peace. Lord, we're asking that in Jesus' name. And Father, we have another request from another person named Cheyenne. Only this sister in Christ is writing to us from Canada. And she has applied for nursing school and is waiting for a response. She believes she's done well, that she has good expectation of getting into a good nursing school. But she is praying that you will send her down the path that's meant for her at this time. And Lord, I believe, like Cheyenne does, that you have a specific place you want us to be. You, as the King of Kings, has assigned us a place in the kingdom to serve. And Lord, I ask you to open just the right door for Cheyenne, enable her to rest in that reality, to rest in the confidence that you have everything under control, and give her peace as a result, Lord. Enable her to wait with grace and with strength and with confidence, and to honor you in the way she responds to whatever results, Lord. We ask you to do this in Jesus' name. Lord, our sister Claudette is coming to us with a request. She says, a young wife, it sounds like this is a friend of hers or someone she knows who's been married seven months and is three months pregnant, has just purchased a home along with her husband and her husband shot himself right in front of her. And so Lord, there's this deep, deep pain and confusion and loss that's going on in this young woman's life. And at the same time, she has the burden and responsibility of a new house, a new life, and all of that without her husband, and the grief and the loss and the confusion that's happening right now in her life, Lord. We ask you to strengthen her and her entire family. I'm sure the whole family is destroyed by this, at least on an emotional level. And Father, we ask you to draw her, to draw this entire family to yourself, Lord. Only you can bring about glory out of chaos like this. Only you can bring beauty from ashes, as your word says. 
And so, Father, we're asking you to demonstrate that kind of transformative grace in their lives. We're asking you to step in to make yourself the grand and glorious healer and savior in this circumstance, Father. We don't understand. We're just shaking our heads in disbelief. But Lord, we know that you are great. We know that you are mighty. And so we're asking you to do this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Our sister Jennifer comes to us with a very heavy heart. She recently lost her father on Valentine's Day, and she's been struggling mentally since then. But Lord, she also has been struggling with the effects of a stroke that she experienced back on the 26th, and she's only 29 years old. Father, during that time in the hospital, a blood clot was found in the main artery inside of her brain. And Lord, all of this, as a mother of five kids who are under eight years old, And she just needs prayer for strength, for healing, for restoration in this circumstance. And Father, again, here's a circumstance where a sister is under an increasingly heavy burden, it seems. And our hearts just break. We just can't imagine being in this situation. But Lord, we know that at the very least it would be heavy and it would be a heart-rending circumstance. And so, Father, we're asking you to bring about great grace, to bring change, and to bring transformation in this circumstance that she can be sustained and strengthened. Lord, that you'd open the eyes of her heart to see you in this circumstance and to understand your great purposes are to draw her close to yourself. And so, Lord, do that. Give her the ability to trust you even in the midst of all this loss and heartache and and fear over her own health. Lord, provide for her. Provide for her children. Give great strength and healing, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we have a sister, Anna, who's writing from California in the United States, who's asking us to pray for her. She is undergoing a lot of pain and anger due to many losses and some heartbreak in her life. And she feels that she's been in a very dark place for quite a while. It stems from the loss of her grandmother in 2021, and then her grandfather in 2022. She says these were the mother and father figures in her life, and she feels very alone. She feels she has no one in her life. Even though she does have a mother and a father, they weren't ever very emotionally involved in her life, and she doesn't have the kind of connection with them to be able to go to them and receive the strength and encouragement from them that she needs like she received from her grandmother. And so, Lord, We pray for our sister Anna, Lord, that you would be her comfort. You would be her strength. You'd be her healer. You'd be her her sustainer in the circumstances of loss. And God, we're asking you to be very real to her. We don't know the nuances of everything she's experiencing, Lord, but we ask you to touch her in ways that she needs to bring sustaining and strengthening health to her. And Father, come around her with a body of Christ with brothers and sisters in the Lord who can be an encouragement and a support and open her heart and her mind, her desire to go and find those people, to find a church family, to find someone who can come alongside. And Lord, she also says she is out of job, out of work, and is running low on funds. And so Lord, we ask that you would provide for her a a place of employment that would be sufficient and adequate for her, sustain and strengthen her in her mental health, And Lord, she mentions also here, her sister Eliah is out of work as well and is hurting. Lord, we ask you to bring about your very best for both Anna and Eliah in your name. Lord, we lift up our sister Erica, who's writing to us from the United States. Her brother-in-law has been in a terrible car accident back in November. He lost his eyesight as a result. And Father, as a result of the injuries, they have actually removed his eyes. And Lord, I can't imagine losing a a sense, a sensation like eyesight. I can't imagine the adjustment and the difficulty and the mourning and loss that that would be. And Lord, her brother-in-law still is in the hospital. He has this, this tube in his neck that he breathes through. Lord, it sounds like that means there's probably a problem with collapsed lungs or something like that. Lord, I don't know the physiology and what's going on. But Lord, I ask that you would lift him up in this circumstance, whatever that means, whether that's physically, emotionally, mentally, Lord, we don't know. We just know it's a very difficult time and that the doctors are still working to repair his injuries. 
Lord, we're asking you to encourage him, to strengthen him, to come around him with the reality of your presence. Lord, draw his heart to you. Draw his soul to you. Give him the sustaining power of your Holy Spirit. And Lord, enable Erica and others who are coming around him to be an encouragement and strength to him. We ask that, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray as well for our sister Jane from the United States, who's asking us to pray for Perry, her husband. She says they've been married for 37 years, and he has been diagnosed with cancer that's affecting his liver and his spine. And he also has lost his right eye to a melanoma back in January of 2022. So Lord, we want to pray first off that you would guide Jane in her ability to oversee his care and to find the best resources to restore his health and to bring about sustaining encouragement and strength for him. He's a Vietnam veteran and this cancer and heart condition that he experiences are presumed to be a result of exposure to Agent Orange that was used in the warfare over there. And Lord, she is grateful that Perry is optimistic. He's grateful for life. He's not in pain, but there is discomfort from the disease. But Lord, it is serious. So we want to humbly ask you, Jesus, to bring about healing in Perry's body, his heart, his soul, his mind. And Lord, that you would continue to hold him up with positive thoughts and with strength and with encouragement because of your presence in his life. And Lord, sustain Jane. I know that her role is one of, of heavy responsibility and deep concern for her husband. Lord, my wife and I have been married almost as long, and I can't imagine dealing with a circumstance of this nature and the weight that it must be on them. Lord, I pray you would be more than sufficient in their lives right now. You would be the sustaining power in their strength. And Father, as we wrap up our prayer episode today, I pray as I always do, that you would guide and ordain the ministry of the morning mindset, both in this podcast, in the God-fearing kids and the parents who raise them podcast for Christian parents, and in the you and me and Jesus podcast that my wife and I are recording to help Christian couples. Father, we ask that you would anoint everything that we're doing and to guide us to do what you anoint. Lord, we don't want to ask you to bless our plans. We want to walk in your plans. We want you to give us the humility and the wisdom to do only what is needed, only what you're calling us to, to not add more things to our plate if you're not wanting us to do them. And that, Lord, you would just multiply the work that's already being done in the hearts and minds of your people, that you would equip people in your kingdom for the work that you've appointed them to do, that you'd strengthen them You'd encourage them. You'd give them greater faith and and sustaining power by what we're doing. And Lord, that you would guide us to do only what you would have us do. Father, for the ministry of not a needy person, we know there are many people who have brought needs to us who have not received the provision that you typically bring by this time. So Lord, we're asking you to bring the generous donors who would meet those needs, that you would give our team wisdom as they deal with the people involved and and to be a, a source of blessing and strength and encouragement to them. Father, do your work through the work that we're doing. Do your work and show us how to join you in it. Lord, it's our desire for Jesus to be lifted high, for your kingdom to be advanced, for you to show yourself to be the ruling sovereign over the globe that we live on. Lord, that your name would be lifted high, that we would be decreasing as you increase, Lord. We're asking you to bring about transformation through the very existence of yourself and display your glory for all to see. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, just a reminder, if you have a request you'd like to have included in the next Pray Together episode, please go to morningmindsetmedia.com slash prayer. Thank you, friends. Join me again together next Friday.